Okay, you guys, today we are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to practice, um, we're going to practice describing things, sorry. So what I want you to do is when I'm done, when I'm done with the sentence, you're going to pause this video and you're going to go to the YouTube video of a book, okay? This book is about um, it's about monsters. Let me, I can't remember what the book is called. Hold on one second. It is called, oh, it's called The Woods. Okay. And in this book, the little boy describes everything, all the other characters that are in the book. Okay. So what I want you to do is listen to the book, excuse me, and pay attention to how the little boy is describing um, the other characters in the book. He uses big letters and he talks about them um, in certain ways. So pause this video and go listen to the woods and listen to how he's describing his characters. Okay. So now that you're back, um, I'd like you, <laughs> sorry, I'd like you to think about how did the little boy describe the other characters in that book, okay? And it wasn't even only the other characters. He described, um, he described places too. For example, he described <clears throat> the cave. Sorry, my voice is going. <clears throat> when they got to the cave, right? It said, we came to a big, spooky, dark cave. He didn't just say we came to a cave. He said it was a big, spooky, and dark cave, and nobody wanted to go in. Okay? Let's see. What's another example? Oh, remember when he saw the dragon? He described the dragon as scary, fire-breathing, triple-headed, dragon. He didn't just say the dragon. That would be boring, right? He really described the dragon for you. What about the monster toward the end? <clears throat> In the cave, he saw a very big, he said, very big. The monster was hairy. The monster was scary. Okay, he says a very big, hairy, scary monster, right? We're going to practice describing some things as well. So let's start with this crayon, okay? What are some words I could use to describe this crayon? Don't worry about this writing over here. We're going to start over here. You don't need to write this with me. I just want you to think in your head. If you were going to tell me about this crayon, let's say I could not see the crayon. Only you could see the crayon. And you had to describe to me what the crayon looked like. How would you describe it? I want you to pause the video and think about some words that could describe this crayon. All right, so I'm gonna make a list of words we could use to describe the crayon. First, I could call it by its name, right? What color it is. I could say that it's red orange. I know that it's red orange because I can say it. I can see it right there. So this crayon is red orange. Okay, besides the color, there's other ways I could describe this crayon. How else could I describe it? Well, I feel the crayon is smooth, so I could describe it as smooth. I'm also looking at it, and I see that it looks like it's never been used before. Do you see how pointy the top is? It's like a brand new crayon. So I could describe it as new. I also said that the top was pointy. I could describe it as pointy. Hmm, let's see. Are crayons soft or hard? They're hard, right? If I I mean I can break it if I if I try, but it's hard. Anything else you think of that we could describe it as? 
Okay, if you could think of anything else, say them now. All right, so here's the crayon. I'll write crayon right here. And I'll draw a quick picture of my crayon. Okay, next. Let's think of ways that we could describe my piece of watermelon here. Okay, how can we describe this watermelon? Try not to get my book wet. Okay, well, there's one word we could use to describe it. The watermelon is wet. I can feel it. It's getting my fingers wet. So let me write watermelon up here. One word I could use to describe watermelon, this piece is wet. Pause the video and think of all the words you can think of to describe watermelon. Okay, hopefully you came up with lots of words. Here's some of the words that I thought of for describing watermelon. Okay, um, it is, it's not as hard as the crayon. It's almost a little bit squishy, right? It's kind of like spongy almost because, because I could press it and it would, it would squeeze. So I'll write squishy. I could also tell you what color it is. It's actually not a very dark red color. I think I might call it light red, okay? I don't know if I would call it pink. I mean, it's still red, but it's a light red. I could tell you the shape of it. I could tell you that it's a cube-ish. It's a cube. I also could taste it and tell you how it tastes. You wanna know how it tastes? <laughs> I'm just gonna let you describe. If you like watermelon, you could describe it as tasting delicious. Let's not. Let's try not to use the word good. Let's use some um, some more grown up words. We could use delicious. We could use tasty. We could use the word. Um, how else could we describe? We could say yummy. Okay. I'm gonna write delicious. It's also sweet. Watermelon is sweet. Okay. That's about, I'm running out of room here. That's about all the words I can think of to describe my watermelon. I guess one other word that I can have, I have one more spot right here. I'm feeling it and it was in my fridge. It's very cold. Cold. Okay, I'll draw a quick picture of my my watermelon cube here. Okay, so what I would like you to do is to go grab two things from your own house. I don't want you to grab a crayon or a piece of watermelon, grab something else. And I want you to come up with as many words <clears throat> as you can to describe the two things that you grab, okay? All right, have fun.